Hey everybody, Kat here. Today is a Sephora day. Yay! It is March box. What's the date today? I have no idea. If you don't know, this is the Play by Sephora box. It's a monthly subscription box at $10 a month. So we're opening it up. Let's see. It always comes with a pamphlet. 50 beauty insider points if you purchase something. And it always ends, so this is Mar the March box. It always ends expires at the end of the next month what's your festival beauty vibe so my guess is the box has festival things in it so we'll see if we see something holographic or something who knows this is a really cute bag it says beauty is my spirit animal that's cute i think and i like the color they're usually white so it's nice to get something different Let's see, what's this first thing in here? Ooh, a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. This is awesome. This eyeliner I have tried before and I do really like. So here's a swatch. My hand is super dry, sorry. I really like this stuff. I would actually say this liner is probably in my top five favorite liners, so I'm excited to have that. See what else is in here. Oh, what is this? Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I haven't tried anything from this brand, but I've heard really good stuff about it. Identify your hair with rich, high potency nourishment that hydrates and softens to the core. Use it, massage through wet hair, let penetrate for five to seven minutes, rinse well. Had I not just gotten out of the shower, that's why my hair is wet, I totally would have tried this, but whatever. So this is kind of cool. I wonder if this is in place of a perfume, but we'll kind of see what else is in the bag. I'm excited to give this a try. Next up. A tube of some sort. Oh, so this is by the brand Kors, K-O-R-R-E-S. Here's what it looks like. It's the Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser, and it's for all skin types. I want to say I've tried their Greek Yogurt Moisturizer or Primer. I can't remember, and I did really like it, and it was just one of those foil samples. So I'm excited to try this. What else is in there? A small tube. So this is by Bobby Brown. It says Bobby Brown Extra, which... I don't know why there's the extra there, but whatever. And it's an illuminating moisture balm. So we've gotten something illuminating for festival season or whatever. This is, it says Bear Glow. Hmm, that's all it really says. I'm going to come back to this one and see what the paper says, but let's see what else is in the box first. Another big tube. So here's this right here. So, there we go. I think you can see it now. So it's called Mistress. It's by the brand IGK, and it's a hydrating hair balm. So two hair products in one bag. Um, I don't know if you've seen my Sephora review from last year, but I have a lot of hair products. <laughs> Air dry for a smooth, supple texture, or blow dry for a soft, luxurious body you crave. I'm going to try this right now. My hair is wet. I'm going to try this throughout the month, and I'll let you guys know if I like it. Obviously, doing this right now is not really going to tell me if it's good or not. But, you know, fun to try anyway. Do you ever, like, take way too long to wash your hair? And when you finally wash it, you're just like, ah, that's how I feel right now. All right, next up. It's making weird noises. <laughs> All right, so it's this guy right here. It's by the brand Super Goop, which I actually have tried their CC cream and really like, but that's besides the point. This is Defense Refresh Setting Mist, and it has an SPF of 50. Spritz over makeup to refresh your UV protection. So it's a spray you spray. Do you hear that? It's a spray you spray onto your face to give you back SPF. And obviously, SPF is very good because. The sun damages your skin. You don't want to look old way before you are old. This is so cool. I'm actually not going to try this today. I'm going to keep it. We're going um, on vacation in July. 
I'm gonna save this for them. This is awesome. Am I the only one that's excited about this? I wanna do a see, wanna see. Oh, and it's a good mist. I'm liking this. All right, so that's that one. So that's everything. I'm gonna try everything out. I just wanna see what this moisturizing balm says. All right, so it says it's by Bobbi Brown and it's called Extra Illuminating Moisturized Balm. So it says that it instantly brightens, energizes, and illuminates with light reflecting pearls and lychee extract. So it just says to put it over clean, dry skin before applying makeup. Perfect, because I haven't put any makeup on today yet. Looks like this when it comes out. It feels very thick. It has a very strange smell. Do I look illuminized? <laughs> Not sure how I feel about this. And I don't really feel illuminated or moisturized for that matter. I definitely feel like I should have put moisturizer on first. I'm not sure about that. That feels like a dud to me. Everything else I'm excited to try. So that's everything in my box. The Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisture Balm, which I'm kind of so-so on right now, but we'll see. The Coors Greek Yogurt Foaming Facial Cleanser, which I'm excited to have. It's not like, it's hard to mess up facial cleanser, so I'm sure that'll be good. The Super Goof Setting Mist, which I'm very excited about. I definitely need to start using SPF more and the sun. Since daylight savings time has happened, the sun has been out a lot more. And being able to spray SPF onto your face, especially if you forget, like I'm sure I will. So excited to have that. This IGK Hydrating Hair Balm, I'm excited to try. I will do my best to try it throughout the month so I can let you know when I open next month's box what I thought of it. And then this Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I love hair masks, so I'll definitely use this. I can't tell if it'd be one, um, one use or two uses. But I don't care. I like hair masks. I'll definitely get this go. And this Amika brand I've heard really good things about. So excited to try that as well. So overall, I think this box was pretty good. I do want to run down everything I got last month and let you know kind of my review now that it's been a month in. Alright guys, I am back and I want to review what I've gotten before. And I realized that sadly I haven't really touched anything from my February box, but I do want to quickly go over my January box. So in January I had gotten this as kind of my bonus product instead of a perfume, and it's the Caviar Anti-Aging Shampoo and Conditioner. It's supposed to be intense hydration. I did use this. It was a one-time use. So I did finish it, so that's good. It was just okay. I wasn't like in love with it. I didn't hate it. I don't know if it really nourished my hair as much as I wanted it to, but at least I finished it, so that's nice. The I also got the Glam Glow Super Cleanse. This I really like. I'm pretty much about there on it, so I'm halfway through after two months. This I like. I will keep using it. I don't use it every day. I like to use a gentle cleanser on my face most days but when days I feel like I need extra cleaning I'll use this kind of like two days in a row I definitely think this is a little bit more intense than my everyday facial cleanser but I still do like this so I'm happy that I got that I did get these two guys and I was really mad about their size so this is the Clinique Pepstar and this is the Smashbox Primerizer so this I like. I try to use it in the morning when I remember. It's pretty much almost done. I think it's to there. So I have maybe one or two more tries with this and I'm done. I will say although this was very small and I was annoyed with how small it was, it ended up being okay that it was this small because you don't really use that much eye cream. So I'm not as mad at it anymore as I was when I first got it and I do like it so that's good. I don't think I would repurchase it but it was fun to try and have. This is the Smashbox Primerizer. This is another one that I was very not excited about the size but ends up I use this way 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 more times than I thought I did I think I have 
maybe one more use in there. I'm not sure, but I did really like that. So that was definitely a really good product. And then last thing that I had gotten in that box was this Fresh Rose Floral Toner. And as you can see, I don't know if you could actually see, but there's nothing in here. I used the whole thing. I love this. I think I even had this in one of my favorites. This was really good. It smelled good. It felt good on my face. It wasn't too harsh. So this was definitely a plus product from them from January. So looking back at my January box, I've used every single one of the products uh, more than just when I got it the first time. I finished two of the products and two of the products I'm almost done with and this I'm halfway through with. So I think overall January's box was phenomenally good. I am going to have to start playing with the stuff from February's box more. And so next month when I get April's box, I'll open that and show you guys kind of where I'm at with the February stuff. And then maybe if I finish some of the March stuff, I'll let you know next month too. Hopefully it won't take me two months to get through it. But sometimes, you know, you got to take your time with things. I am excited about this month's box. I'll definitely use the eyeliner. I think I'll use everything in there actually except maybe that moisturizing balm because I don't love it but I will try it at least once more to make sure it wasn't just a wrong first impression. Alright guys thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you like my channel please subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. I'm not even tell you how long it's been since I washed my hair because you will die and I want you all to live. Melt into lengths and melts into lanes what does that mean it's the greek yo greek mo why can i say greek yogurt <laughs> it is whoa <laughs>